critique, especially if you of, of you of a certain age, when should you stop critiquing uh, younger artists' music, especially if their music and their emotions that they're speaking from is from a younger person age? And real quick, let's of course give Joe Button a round of applause because he knows how to throw that grade A A one super salt like. Walk up one of those little salty James Harden step back foot. Mm, give me that little salt right there because he know for a fact the NBA young boy about to do an interview with Gilly and Wallow on million dollars worth of game. And we all seen that huge hug from Wallow. And it was just like it was a real embrace. Like you seen it and it was went viral. Everybody was talking about everybody geeked up to look for. So what's a cool way for me to kind of throw a little bit of salt on? They'd be like, oh, his music is trash. And real quick, I'm not gonna lie, I love that pick and roll that Joe and academics run because it's just like, oh, real quick, it's even it's one, it's gonna give me if I'm academics, it's gonna give me the engagement, it's gonna give my man some engagement, but it's realistically it's gonna help the young people always love academics because academics will always, of course, he gonna fan out and speak for the youngest, and then Joe gonna seem like the old header. Their pick and roll is cool, like stalking them alone, and then you can see it clear as day if you really pay attention. But my thing of it is is realistically, especially when you get older, and if I say, Hey, I don't go to the club, I'm not outside really hanging with the youngest and just like like banging on the block with them and really getting to know like the new lingo or what they really going through. It's a lot harder to sit here and really judge their music. And I say that all the time. It's just like, you think about it, you would never go into no sports uh, locker room, football, basketball, it don't matter. You would never call it from college to the pros. You're never going into no locker room and they in there playing R&B music. So for somebody who listens to Joe Button all the time, that's your bag. That's the aura that you set. Like when you sit here and say, I do the candles and all that, you cannot sit here and light some candles and try to listen to NBA young boy, how it's not going to happen. That's not even, that's not the vibe. That's not the arena for that. So let's be honest. Where do you sit here and supposed to, how do you give an honest critique on an NBA young boy project song or anything? If the nine times out of 10, the mood you listen, you try to listen to it is the same music you listen to Summer Walk-In or Sizzle or whatever, it, that don't make sense. You can't because you guess what you're not going to do? Guess If you're in the club, the DJ not going to go from playing some Scissor to sit here going to play some Young Boy. It would never happen. So again, like I said, for a older person, where do you really uh, engage in music? I tell people this all the time. I don't personally, I don't, excuse me, you can't, I can't really validate an older person giving me their opinion on music. One, if you don't work out, because realistically, where do you go to get your testosterone really going where you can feel young again, where that young energy will just it vibrate through you? Because like again, like I said, go into a sports locker room. Just think about for all the old don't think about how old some of them old white coaches are. But they still got to be in the locker room and know how to do the gritty and know how to do all the new dances and stuff, because I have to still have that same level of energy and testosterone. It's all these young players. Just really think about think about how old Nick Saban is. Think about how old Jim Harbaugh is. And all of them still got to be able to relate to these young kids. I'm sure realistically, if they didn't keep themselves indulged with so many young kids. They would probably think that music was trash, too. But again, Joe, you power with a bunch of older men. And everybody kind of low on testosterone. And that's not no shade. Because, again, I listen to Joe. I listen to them even when they explain it. When you low on testosterone and high in, uh, what is it, estrogen, you start to have man boobs. That is, again, no shade. But that's a cast full of men with man boobs. Like, it ain't, like, it ain't, you got to be able to get that. Like, it's, it's hard. So it's kind of hard to sit here and say, okay, this is law. It's not. But it's, it's, of course, it's always good for engagement. It's gonna get people. It's gonna get the people going. It's gonna get the kids up in your comment section. Why be better? They gonna go crazy. They gonna discredit everything you've done. But that's cool for engagement, and that's why I sit here and say academics and Joe Button run the coldest pick and roll of all times. I literally, I'm telling you, their pick and roll is like stalking them alone. Excuse me, boom, give them out of here. Let's get them going. Of course, Birdman chimed in, and I kind of, i don't necessarily, I almost want to play the young boy response, but it's a young boy response. You kind of knew how NBA young boy was going to go off as soon as he's seen that. And then Birdman chimed in and told Joe again, find somebody safe to play with. But uh, and then uh, it, I love NBA young boy a little bit because he's just like, no, come, what do you say? Come to Grave Digger Mountain and do that interview. He's just different, dog. He make music for a different group of kids. And you got to understand. And I understand realistically because if you're judging it just off of the internet kids, yeah, it's going to it's going to confuse you. But go outside and shout out to Philadelphia for banning them uh, Pooh Shiesty masses. But go outside and really get next to some of these kids who literally outside all day long with that same ski mask every day. They kind of listen to young boy differently and they act different and they move different. And that will give you a different exposure for the music. But then again, we're talking about that's why I really never a fan of New York people just always trying to just critique everything in hip hop because you just really don't understand it. 
And then again, we'll be talking about that's ain't nothing but a few. That's a, like maybe a, a 30 minute drive down from Jersey to Philly. And you get this like, oh, look at how they banning the shysties. I'm showing they go crazy for young boys. Well, but it, but it, again, like I said, you think about a New York club or a New Jersey club, they barely play Wayne. I know they don't play no Boosie. If they probably play Wipe Me Down, and that's probably it. But you, you got to think about it. That's or Gates or Kevin Gates. That's all where realistically, that's the line that young boy come from. So if you don't even get that exposure, let's just say he say Joe still go to the club. Okay, you still go to the club, but you where you getting the real exposure to really be able to take in some of that young boy. That's all I'm just saying. He's saying it's just a hard little situation. But again, like I said. That little salt, you knew that Gillian Wild about to do that NBA Young Boy interview. Them numbers gonna go crazy. That interview gonna go crazy. But that pick and roll, the academics and Joe Button run, it's amazing. But again, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, for all the youngest who's watching, always take it with a grain of salt when an older person give you their opinion on music. Cause it's like, where do you really, even if you was going to like LA Fitness, I always peek my head in, in for a little bit and watch the youngest hoop and just to listen to what the music they playing when they in the gym. I'm talking, I go to so many different LA fitnesses all over the DMV. And 90% of them times is even they play Young Boy, Dirk, Blue Baby, or Gun, whoever. They playing those group, that group of people. The young boy, the young boy group, and the group of the youngest that he be beefing with. It's that's it's so it's just a little bit hard for me to ever really take that. And then again, 49ers just smoke my Eagles. The 49ers, I think at one point in time at the beginning of the season, they was five and no with the big boom box and Debo walking to the jump playing the young boy. It's hard to sit here and say that's trash, but you're just not old enough, and that testosterone ain't high enough. I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your